Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I want to show you some really quick and simple note cards. We're going to make three cards today and this is part of the current Art Impressions Challenge. So feel free to join in and if you don't like coloring you're going to love this video because there's no coloring. We're just going to create some really simple backgrounds and do some simple stamping. So let's go ahead and get started. So to do this project, we're just going to need some basic circle dies. I'm using some nesting circle dies. And for paper, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. I've got a standard A2 size card here. So this measures eight and a half by five and a half. And I've scored it down the center at four and a quarter. So I'm just trying to pick a circle here that I like the best. And the one I chose is about two and three quarter inches all the way around. So now I'm going to grab my Gina K Masking Magic. This is some masking paper. And I'm going to cut a piece big enough to cover the entire front panel of my card. I'm going to center that circle on this Masking Magic. And then I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. Now I want to center this on my card. So I'm going to remove the backing there. But first, I want to place that circle back down right exactly where I want it to be. Now, you could trace this circle, but I find it easier just to place this down, then put half of my masking uh, magic down, and then peel the backing away from the other half and position that entire panel in place. So I just use that circle temporarily just to help me find the center of the card. I'm going to save the backing because I will again be using this tape again later. So using Lemon Drop and Fruit Punch, these are the Hero Hues Reactive Ink Pads. And these come in some beautiful colors. We're going to be doing some inking. I'm using my Picket Fence Studios Life Changing Brushes. And that's just going to give me a softer touch here. So on this particular one, we're going to be doing three cards today. I want to have the ink go darkest from the bottom and lightest up towards the top there. So I'm just going to continue inking that up. And then I'm going to grab the fruit punch. And I'm going to start from the bottom again and just apply the most ink here at the bottom. And then I'm just going to work my way up that panel, just getting lighter and lighter as I go up. And then I'm going back to the lemon drop and I'm just going to blend those two together. Now to use the reactive properties of this ink, I'm going to spritz this with a little bit of water from my distress sprayer. And then I'm going to blot that off with a paper towel. And that's going to give us a beautiful spattered effect. Now I can remove this backing, this masking magic. And that's going to leave that beautiful circle. So you can see that there. So now for my next card. So I'm going to go ahead and make two more. So I'm going to score all of these at four and a quarter. Again, creating two more A2 size cards. I'm placing that circle down again up towards the top and centering it. And just using that to mark the position while I lay my masking tape down. Once that's place down. I'm going to just press that down nice and firmly. And I want to make sure I press it down really well around that circle because again, that's where we're going to be doing our inking. So this time I'm coming in with Pool Party and Blue Hawaii. And for this one, I'm going to circle, do the circle kind of from the outer edges in towards the center. So I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I did all three differently just so you could get some ideas of some different things you can do with these. So here I'm just coming in with that lightest color again from all the way around in towards the center and I'm going to keep that center the lightest. And then I'm going to take the blue Hawaii and I'm going to start adding a little bit of a shadow around the edges here. And what's nice about these life changing brushes is you get a really soft touch here. So you can tap it off on your scrap paper first and then bring it onto your paper. But I find that 
it really blends out nice and easily. I don't have to do a lot of fussing with this. Now I'm going back to the pool party and I'm just going to blend all of this out. And I'm really leaving that center almost white there. Now again, I can go ahead and spritz this with a little bit of water. Give it that beautiful spattered effect. I'm just blotting that up. And what was nice here is I didn't find any bleeding from the masking magic onto my cardstock. So that was really nice. So here you can see the second one. Now for this third one, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to place that circle right in the center there just to mark my place. And I'm going to position down the masking magic. And I'm going to, again, make sure that I have that nice and secure right around that circle. Now for this one, I want two different sections. I want to create the lower section, which is going to be kind of a grassy edge. So I'm using Key Lime Fizz and Blue Raspberry. And I'm using another little strip of that Masking Magic, and I'm just going to put it straight across there at the bottom. So I just want a little bit of an edge there at the bottom, maybe about three quarters of an inch at the widest point. I'm going to apply my Key Lime Fizz and then I'm coming in with the Blue Raspberry and I'm just going to come from the top of that tape down into that grassy area and just create a little bit of a shadow there. And then I'm going to go back and blend that out. Now I can go ahead and lift up this Masking Magic. And then I want to put it down towards the bottom here. So I'm going to line it up right along that line, leaving a little tiny bit of a border there showing just so that I can blend these two together. Otherwise you will leave like a little white gap there. So using Pool Party and Blue Hawaii, I'm going to create the water or the sky, however you want to think of this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply that pool party all over here. And I kind of want to start at the bottom and work my way up just like we did before. So I'm going to keep it darkest along this horizon line here. And it's going to get lighter and lighter as I get towards the top. Now I'm going to come in with that blue Hawaii and go from that line right up. So I'm pushing the ink up towards the top again, keeping it darkest at the bottom here. And then I'm just going to go back again and blend that out a little bit. So I just wanted to show you a few different things you could do here with masking and there's lots of other options as well. So these are just a few ideas. So I'm again, I'm gonna keep that masking magic. I like to put the backing back on all these pieces and set them aside. I'm gonna spritz this one as well with a little bit of water and I'm gonna pick that up with the paper towel. This would be a good time too if you wanted to spatter it with some color, you could do that here as well. Now I'm lifting up that entire sheet. You can see that up close. And then again, I've kept those little backing papers, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. So I'll set those aside. I'm gonna heat set all three of these very quickly. And now for stamps, I'm gonna use these beautiful stamps. These are the trifolds. And this one is the beach trifold set. And I'm gonna be using that little beach chair. And for this one, I'm using the two little rowboats. And this is called the lake house trifold. And this last one, I'm gonna be using the little fence and the hedges. And this one is called the cottage trifold. So look at your stamps and kind of see what you have here because this is really fun. And I'm going to use all three of the sentiments from each of those sets. So here we're back to this one with the little beach chair. These stamps are thick rubber stamps and it does come with this little backing on it. So you do want to remove that. That'll leave that sticky back for stamping. You can throw those little backings out. You don't need those. So now I'm going to grab my Misty Stamp Positioner and remove that thick foam pad because we don't need that. We've got these thick rubber stamps. So I'm going to place my magnets down. 
Then I'm going to take that little beach chair stamp and I want to put it kind of off to the right hand side of this circle. I just kind of want it overlapping the circle. I want that to look like the sun behind it. So I've positioned that in my MISTI and I'm going to grab the VersaFine Onyx Black ink to do my stamping. I'm going to be doing all of my stamping with this ink today. This is a permanent black ink and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. And what's making these cards so quick and simple is there's going to be no coloring here. This is simply all I'm going to do for coloring is just do my background. I'm going to stamp all of these twice. I won't show that on camera every time, but I will stamp all of these images and my sentiments a couple of times. I want to get a nice black ink here. So I'm going to clean off that stamp and then I'm going to grab the sentiment. And like I said, each of these sets have these beautiful sentiments. And this one says, may your life be filled with blessings as countless as the grains of sand. I just love that. I think that's so pretty. So I'm trying to decide where I want to place that. You have lots of options here. But for this one, I decided to place it just down below here. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. So you can see how pretty that is and it's very simple to do. Now for this next one, we created that little bit of a grassy border and I want the blue to represent a little bit of the water. So I'm going to grab those little rowboats and I'm going to place that just about where those rowboats uh, start. So I just want to kind of position that around a little bit. And again, I'm going to ink these up and stamp these. And if you don't like coloring, this is the way to go. This gives you a beautiful, elegant look with very little effort. And then again, as I said before, I'm going to double stamp all of these. Now for the sentiment on this one, I decided to place it up and to the left a little bit. I'm just kind of using that circle as a focal point, but I want to go outside the lines of these circles. I just think it makes it a little more interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that one. And that one says, may your day be simply wonderful. And again, I'm going to stamp that twice. And now for this last one, I'm going to be stamping that little fence and those little hedges. So I'm going back to this stamp set here. And I want to position it a little bit to the right and down below that circle, just a little bit. Again, just to draw your eye a little bit away from it. So I'm going to go ahead and place the sentiment again up up towards the left and off that circle a little bit. And that one says, the road to a friend's house is never long. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone folder and press the crease out. And for each one of these, I'm gonna add a little embellishment. Again, this just takes a simple card up just a notch or two here, just to add a little interest. So on this one, I'm using the Hero Hues these are the enamel dots, and this one is called Sunset. They do have other ones available as well. So I'm going to use the three different sizes. What's nice about these is you do get three different sizes of the same color. So I'm going to use the small, medium, and large, and just place three of those right in the center there. And then for this one, I'm going to use the Buttons Galore and More Aquamarine Sparklets Embellishments. And in these little packs, you get all kinds of beautiful little embellishments. And I was, I'm using my Marvy Jewel Picker here to pick these up and my Connect Gina K glue to attach these. And at first I thought I was going to be using maybe some of the little sequins or the little rhinestones. I couldn't decide. But then I found these little tiny stars in here and I just thought that would be beautiful for a night sky. 
So they're little sparkly stars. And I just put a bunch of these all over. And I'm just going to attach those with my Gina K Connect glue. And this little jewel picker just has a sticky end on it. Makes it really easy to pick up these little embellishments and to place them down. So I did that across the entire panel here. Now for this last one, I'm going back to my buttons galore and more sparklets embellishments. And this time I'm using the ones that say Ocean Waves. So these are the Ocean Waves collection. And again, I'll pour these out so you can see how pretty these are. You get so many little items in here. Now for this one, I decided to just use three little, uh, one is a pearl, a rhinestone, and like a little glass glassy accent here like a little uh, clear bauble and so I used all three of those and I used a small medium and large again just for interest but you can see all the other little ones that you get in here and I'm going to go ahead and attach those the same way So there's our three cards. Let me give you a closer look at these. You can see the beautiful stars on this one. And I just love this. I love that look of a sun, a bright sun with the beach chair. And then this one here is really pretty with that blue sky. So you can see how quickly you can make up some note cards. So what I decided to do was actually package these up as a little gift for a friend. So I've got three little envelopes here. You could do three or six, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to grab some of my twine. I just had some leftover twine here. And I'm just going to wrap that around and tie a pretty bow on the front. And this is just going to make a nice little gift. What's also nice, if you're making little gift card packages for friends, you can add some labels and some stamps with these as well. Put them in a little basket and put some candy in there and it makes a really great gift. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.